Serving Lord Krishna at the Janmashtami festival is not the only way to serve Lord Krishna. And that's not the only service we should be doing throughout the year because Lord Krishna wants us to serve him every day. The Srimad Bhagavatam explains that devotional service to Lord Krishna must be uninterrupted and unmotivated in order that we become completely satisfied and happy. In our workplace, in our business, we take holidays. There are summer holidays, winter holidays, Sundays and so on. But in devotional service, actually, there is no question of a holiday. And by the way, I am sure you are all aware that the word holiday comes from the two words holy and day. So the whole concept of a holiday is that it was meant to be a holy day. In other words, it was meant to be exclusively for the service of God. Because most people in the world have to work for a livelihood and in the rest of the week they are absorbed in their business or professional activities. So the one holiday was exclusively earmarked for service to the Lord. This is the idea behind having a holiday. But it's not that we should only serve Krishna on this holiday and not be conscious of him on other days. So in the scriptures we are told of how we should constantly engage in Lord Krishna's service. Sri Krishna's pure devotee, Srila Prabhupada, has been the foremost ambassador of Lord Krishna's divine message in the recent times. And he has given us a program of practical devotional service that is very easy for all of us in this day and age. Even if we are living in London or New York or in any other part of the world, and this whole process focuses on or depends on the association of devotees of Lord Krishna. When we come to association of devotees, which is called satsang, then we practice all the different limbs of devotional service. We make friendships with devotees. We talk about Krishna. We hear about Krishna. We chant Krishna's holy names. We discuss philosophy, we enjoy the bhajans and kirtans, we serve Lord Krishna's deity and offer various other services and of course we also relish Lord Sri Krishna's delicious prasadam. So all these must happen on a regular basis. Srila Prabhupada explains that in order for us to become successful in our spiritual life, we must engage in these spiritual activities on a regular basis, consistently. Then we can be assured of success. So the Bhaktivedanta manner offers a wonderful opportunity for so many people from all over the London and surrounding areas to come here regularly and associate with devotees and hear and chant about Krishna and develop love for Krishna. Srila Prabhupada said that the principal purpose of forming ISKCON was to give the association of devotees to the people of the world at large. So therefore, um, when we come here, we take the darshan of the wonderful deities, Radha Gokulananda, Sita Ram Lakshman Hanuman, and Sri Sri Gaurnitai. We hear Kirtan, we participate in these programs, we also chant the holy names on our beads, we hear lectures and then we offer physical services and our intellectual services also in so many different ways. You may have some of these programs going on even near your locality perhaps. You could link up to some of them and attend these classes and kirtans that take place in your neighborhood. And in this way you will regularly make advancement. 
Another important factor is to read Srila Prabhupada's books, which give us so much transcendental knowledge, explained in such a clear and simple way. Just like a student in school or college regularly has to study his or her textbooks in order to become a good student and get a good degree, similarly, we must also regularly read these transcendental books like the Bhagavad Gita, the Srimad Bhagavatam and so on in order to get spiritual knowledge. When we get spiritual knowledge, then we get faith and conviction. There are many, many people who have a religious inclination. They would like to do something religious or spiritual, but they do not know how. But when they read these books, when they hear the lectures and they chant the holy name, make friendships with devotees, offer seva, all these things are revealed. And then one really develops the conviction that yes, the goal of my life is to become a pure devotee of Lord Krishna. True religion is not a matter of casual performance occasionally. True religion is a matter of regular and consistent performance in knowledge and with faith and devotion. And this will be possible when we come to the association of devotees and take the complete benefit.